Welcome back, everybody. Best-selling author Jane Harper is back with a suspenseful new novel. The Lost Man is set in the scorching Australian outback, where the nearest neighbor is three hours away, but a killer might be a lot closer. Jane's here now with more on this book. Hello, and Hello. congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. You're, you were a journalist, print journalist, who became an author. What flip the switch. Yeah, I mean, I'd always been a big reader and I'd always wanted to write a book. And for years and years, I thought I'd love to write a book. And then finally, I think I just I just thought it's something I really want to do. Let's and do it. Yeah, exactly. Even if I don't know what's going to happen, I just love to do it for myself. And I wanted to write something about Australia and a mystery. And yeah, just the kind of book that I felt I would like to read. Well, all three of the, the books you've written so far revolve around crime. Did any of that cross over from your journalism career? It did a little bit, but um, I was a print journalist for 13 years. So on four different newspapers so I covered a huge range of things like all kinds of different stories and I think the, the biggest thing that crossed over was listening to people you know, tell their stories and you know, what's important to them and how you know, you know, events can impact a whole community and that kind of ripple effect is the sort of thing that I've really tried to bring into the books. That's really something. The Lost Man is your third book and it's a standalone. It doesn't share the main character from the first two. So what happened here? What made you want to write about this? Yeah, so my first two books, The Dry and Force of Nature, both had the same character. He's a guy called Aaron Fork, and he's um, he's an investigator based I in Melbourne. I hope he comes back. Oh, I he's know. He's not done, yeah. is no, he? No, I mean, I, I love writing about Aaron Fork, and he's been such a great character, and you know, the readers have really responded. But um, he's, he's sort of a, a very Melbourne-based um, man, and for The Lost Man, it's set in, in such a remote outback region, such as this amazing, incredible kind of harsh, isolated mm -hmm. area. And um, it, I, I feel like it's so important to have the characters who tell the story in the best possible way. And um, I knew for this book it was important to have just different characters to tell this story. And I absolutely loved writing about these characters. There's, there were such great people to explore and learn about and really, you know, I, I guess give people hopefully an insight into this part of, um, part of Australian life. Which I think fascinates everybody. The Australian outback is something, you know, people always want to see more about, know more about and find fascinating. The New York Times in their blurb on your book mentions that there, there are no MacGuffins in there. there. There's no fact that's that's out of place or doesn't mean something later, which I think is cool because as a reader, we almost go along with the solving the case um, trail just like anybody else would in real life. Yeah, absolutely. I think, I mean, that's the idea really, hopefully that um, people can, you can follow along and they can they can come to their own conclusions and, and really, um, you know, become invested in the story and sure. the characters. And, and I, I always try and, write something that I think I would enjoy and I, I love books that have that kind of mystery that unfolds and you, you feel like you can you can try and work out and then hopefully get a bit of a surprise at the end as well. Exactly, the the twist you didn't <laughs> see. Now which book it's it's The Dry that Reese Witherspoon's company has snapped up? That's right, so The Dry has been optioned for a film um, and it's, it's going great, it's really um, it's well underway. Um, the filming is starting in Australia next month in March um, and the um, I went to visit the production offices and saw some of the photos, the sets things and um, the kind of visuals they're going to use. That and, blow your mind. Oh, it's amazing. It's, <laughs> it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be really exciting. It stars Eric Banner as Aaron Fork, who's a really wonderful Australian actor. Yes. And has obviously done some um, really great things here in the States with the Dirty John right. um, show just recently. So, um, yeah, it's really thrilling to um, see it be made. And so many books get optioned and, and never get and made never into get movies. Made. So. Exactly. Although Reese Witherspoon's company tends to make what they buy. They're, they're you know, really on top of it and what they want what they want. So when you got that call, what was that like? Oh, yeah, it was, I mean, it was completely um, unexpected and, um, and such a, you know, such a, such an exciting thing to happen for, for the book, you know, and um, I think, you know, to sort of, um, to have, have people who invested so much time and efforts and finances and resources into bringing, um, bringing the book to the screen, you know, it, it's wonderful. And I'm, I'm you know, I, I'm not sort of directly involved in a creative way. I mean, my contribution really was writing the book, but, mm -hmm. and I think you have to, you know, let, give people any experts to, Let it go. to do what they need to do. Um, but I'm so excited to see what they do with this and I hope readers will enjoy it as well. I'm sure that we will. Do they ask you any questions? Do they come back to you at all in terms of, of curiosity about things in the story or locations or is it really just a handoff? Um, yeah, no, they have yet. Yeah, they, we keep in touch and um, occasionally they sort of maybe will ask me something, but um, I do I do let them you know, do what they, they, they feel need to do and to do the best possible right. film that they can make. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, they, they've been great about inviting me along and hopefully I'll go, go on set and um, yeah, and just sort of see the process unfold. The main thing you need is the dress for the opening night, the red right. carpet. It's never too early to start worrying about that. <laughs> Tell me
me a bit about your writing process. Um, obviously, you've been successful from the get-go. Did you have, during that 13-year period that you were a print journalist, time to think about what you wanted to do with that book, or did it just kind of happen? I think for me, um, I wasn't really, you know, um, thinking about, I, I wanted to write a book, but I wasn't really, you know, working on it too intensely. I think the, the main benefit was working day to day as a journalist and, you know, writing so many stories and, and sort of really honing that, that craft, you know, and working under pressure and learning to express myself clearly. Um, so then when it came to writing fiction, it was a slightly different process. I mean, for this book, for The Lost Man, I, I went to um, Outback Queensland mm -hmm. um, and I drove across the outback with a retired oh, wow. police officer who oh, cool. um, had policed this area to size the size of England all by himself for 10 years. That was his, in, that was his own kind That's of beat amazing. for a decade. So he had, as you can imagine, amazing stories. So it's, it's this incredible insight into right. this kind of isolated lifestyle and what happens really when things go wrong as they do, you know, can and do very quickly out there. Well, it makes me think of Gillian Flynn as well because she spent a long time as a, as a writer, as um, a news person, a journalist as well. And I'm thinking that that time deadline that you go through as a journalist having to produce something you know today no matter whether yeah. you feel like it or not may be helpful in terms of not staring at a blank page yeah it really is I mean I use my journalism skills every day when I write the books I mean in so many different ways and deadlines is a big part of that and um, I mean I have the deadlines set by the publishers but I also set myself um, you know sort of artificial deadlines as I go so I know what I want to achieve that day and that week by the end of the month you know so I, I sort of keep on track and I find I mean for me that really helps and I think that's what writing is about is trying to find that what works for you and it'll be different for every author mm -hmm. but for me personally trying to sort of um, replicate that newsroom environment quite closely um, really helps me you know, with that's writing so fiction. interesting thank you so much for coming to visit thank with you. us thank you. can't wait to see the movie and also to finish I'm part way through but I'm eager to finish The Lost Man as well Jane will be at third place books in Lake Forest Park tonight at seven o'clock if you'd like to visit with her she's just starting on her tour so travel safely thank you thank you after the break, Tea and Cookies blogger Tara Austin Weaver shows us how to cook with berries that you grow at home. We'll be back in a moment.